protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com And welcome back. Recently, a petition launched to recognize Black Lives Matter as an official terrorist organization. If you go to WhiteHouse.gov, you can see that it has over 100,000 signatures. Now, uh, many people are going to find out the hard way that when you do petitions on WhiteHouse.gov, they're just basically a suggestion box. Like if you go to a, a restaurant or a movie theater and they say, hey, put your suggestions here. It doesn't really mean anything. There's been many petitions on WhiteHouse.gov that, that even though they got the required number of signatures, the White House didn't even bother to address. Some things were just, you know, kind of goofy, funny things like build a real Death Star. Other things that are a little more serious, they said, uh, we don't care. So uh, take that for what it is. But now I want to spend a little bit of time talking about Black Lives Matter in people's view of them of as a terrorist organization, because I think like anything, there's many assets and facets to the organization. And I'll give you the example of the police, right? So uh, you can see plenty of videos out there of police doing wrong, you know, police shooting some unarmed guy in the back or choking a guy to death because he was selling cigarettes or, you know, beating a guy to death over the course of 20 minutes while he is screaming for, you know, mercy and for his daddy to come and save him and on and on and on. And that's one aspect of the police, but it's not the aspect of the police. On the flip side, you have the videos of cops, you know, saving little cats out of trees or walking kids home in a bad neighborhood or giving boots to a homeless man. So yes, while the bad stuff happens, also the good stuff happens as well. And you can't just pick one side or the other to view uh, the police departments as in the United States of America. Conversely, when you talk about a group like Black Lives Matter, I've personally witnessed th these guys in various cities around the around the country, you know, start fires or, you know, loot uh, shopping centers or, you know, do other heinous things. Also, you see the videos of them jumping on hoods of cars, uh, interrupting veteran ceremonies, harassing people for having lunch just because they're white or whatever else. But on the flip side of that, I've also personally seen these guys go out and march peacefully without incident. I've seen them have uh, candlelight vigils, uh, prayer meetings at churches and on and on and on. But that stuff doesn't get the type of publicity that the negative stuff does. It gets, it's not as sensational, it doesn't sell as many newspapers or doesn't get as many clicks on YouTube. So while I do recognize, and I'm definitely not trying to downplay the, black, the bad things that Black Lives Matter has done, I also recognize the good things that don't get as much publicity. Also, when you talk about a group like Black Lives Matter, to make a very, very loose comparison, when you think about a group like Anonymous, where anybody can be anonymous, all you have to do is go buy a Guy Fox mask, turn off the lights, shoot a, a video and put it on YouTube and you're a, considered a part of Anonymous. In a similar way, anybody can go buy a Black Lives Matter t-shirt and since there's no governing body, nobody to say, yes, you can be in, no, your membership is revoked, anybody can be a part of the group. So you have to take all this in consideration when you just wanna say the group in general is a terrorist organization. Also, another thing I wanna point out, just being personally at many of these events, a lot of times when there's you know one guy wearing a Black Lives Matter t-shirt in a rally, usually it's more than one, but she's using that example. If there's one and something bad happens, like those examples I said, people jumping on cars or riot, rioting or looting buildings, Black Lives Matter in general gets the blame even if those people weren't self-identifying as Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter's members. Uh, because once again, you know, when you have something that's just anybody can sign up for or say they're a part of, you do it. when they see these guys on TV with the pants down looting the quick trip or whatever it is, did you stop and ask these guys, are they Black Lives Matter? Do they self-identify as Black Lives Matter? Do they uh, put Black Lives Matter things on their Facebook and Twitter pages? So uh, the point I'm trying to make here is every time you see a black person at a rally doing something negative doesn't mean that they're affiliated with Black Lives Matter. And that's the point I'm really trying to drive home here. Because I think uh, while I do recognize the bad things that they've done, oftentimes it's such a generalized thing that uh, they just assume that these people are affiliated with Black Lives Matter or have Black Lives Matter sympathies when sometimes they really don't. It's just maybe there were Black Lives Matter there, but there are other people who weren't affiliated with the group at all. And they also could have been doing good or bad things. So by and large, I think with a wide brush to paint them as a terrorist organization, I think is too much. It'd be, like I said, to say the police are terrorists. You got good police, you got bad police. You got good people at these rallies, you got bad people at these rallies. And just to blanket call them one thing or another, I think is a, a very crude oversimplification. But uh, that's my thought on that. And only time to tell, um, because things are getting pretty hot in the country right now. People trying to start race wars for whatever reason. I think that they think is a good idea. It's failed rather spectacularly. If you guys remember the case of Dylan Roof down in Charleston, South Carolina, his goal 
when he shot up the church was to start a race war. You know, nobody was buying that, at least down there. And, you know, it's a very peaceful time. I was actually very glad to be down there and see how the city decided to turn to posit positivity instead of turning on itself and rioting and burning stuff. I think the worst thing that happened while I was there was a statue got spray painted. And if that's the worst thing that <laughs> happens in Charleston, South Carolina, I think you guys should consider yourself very lucky. Uh, it's a little, little different in the city of Dallas, Texas. Uh, they say they've had a long history of uh, questionable police activities. A lot of the officers have recently left Dallas, uh, I believe. In May alone, they had uh, 40 or so officers leave and go to various apartments. More are left in June, if I remember correctly. So it's a big problem that's not going to be solved anytime soon. But just the general terrorist label, I don't think is accurate and just an oversimplification. Now, let's talk about some other things going on overseas. We see that Chinese, the Chinese president has ordered the People's Liberation Army to prepare for combat as a measure against possible hostile U.S. action in the South China Sea after an international tribunal ruled that Beijing had no exclusive control over the area. The Permanent Court of Arbitration said that there was no evidence that China had historically exercised exclusive control over the waters or resources, reports the BBC. China responded by labeling the ruling ill-founded and refused to be bound by it. However, behind the scenes, the Chinese president fears that the U.S. could seize on the ruling to justify aggressive military maneuvers in the area and has ordered PLA forces to prepare for war. China's Navy has repeatedly issued warnings to U.S. surveillance planes flying over the region. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.